guys, before starting the video, I want to let you know that this is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online platform where you can take classes to unlock your creativity. They have stuff like editing, animation, art, design, film, video, and so much more. We're about halfway done with summer, and I don't know about you, but I'm bored. I don't really know how I'm going to spend the other half of my summer, so I feel like Skillshare is kind of the perfect thing to do for that. The first 1,000 people who use the link in my description will receive a one-month free trial to Skillshare Premium. I'm interested in a class called Create Your Animated TikTok Persona. I just saw TikTok in the name and I was like, that is just calling my name, you know what I mean? Okay, let's get into the video. Hi friends, it's Kelly. Today I am doing a video, I really wasn't sure I was going to do it, but I got a lot of comments on my second most recent video, my birthday haul, where you guys wanted to know more about my laser hair removal thing because I kind of said that I had uh, permanent burns, which that is not a lie. I just wanted to explain it more in depth and also just give you a little laser hair removal experience because I know a lot of people are considering getting it, kind of on the fence, wanted to know more. And I'm here to provide all that information for you. This video is going to be a lot all over the place and I don't even know really where to start, but we're just going to get into it, see how it goes. So I really wanted laser hair removal because I am half Italian. I have a lot of hair. Um, if we're being honest, I pretty much would shave my legs every single day and it wasn't enough. I would shave it and it would never really feel fully smooth and even the look of it, it always looked like there was hair in my legs even when I just shaved because it was like under the pores, you could see it, you could see the pores pretty much. And none of my friends kind of had the same struggle I did. They would shave like once a week and be totally fine. I could not do that. Um, my hair is also super thick and there's a lot of it. Shaving every day was a necessity. I also got here lasered because I would shave this every day, but it wasn't really an issue, it didn't bother me. I just would use a little um, like facial razor um, as part of like my makeup routine and it wasn't really a big deal, but I did want to get a laser because it was annoying to even have that and have to do it. Yeah, I got my legs lasered and I got my like mustache laser. Um, laser is super expensive and I wanted to not pay that much. So I only got my knees to my ankles laser, not my thighs. I didn't really think it was necessary because the hair on my thighs was a lot thinner and it was not as much of an issue to shave that all the time than it was like my shins and my calves and stuff. So I started getting laser, I think, in April, I want to say, of 2021. And going into it on my first one, I knew it was going to hurt. That's what she told me. She was like, it's going to hurt, especially your first one, so just be ready. It definitely hurt. Honestly, a lot more than I thought. I kind of went into it being like, I want this so bad that I'm okay with the pain. And my mind quickly changed. I wasn't even sure if it was worth it because of how much it hurt. I know a lot of people go places where they're like, it doesn't hurt, doesn't really feel like anything. That was definitely not the case for me. It was like a combination of like a rubber band snapping onto my leg and like a needle going into it. And it hurt a lot more on my legs than on my face, which is kind of surprising. I think because it's just a, such a smaller area on your face, who knows? After the first one, I was super irritated. Had to put like some type of cream on it to kind of make it not sting as much because it was like stinging and everything. Um, but that was normal or at least I thought it was because that's what I was told. And then I went back after six weeks, got the same thing done, hurt just as bad, had just as bad of a reaction where it was like staying for a day, super sensitive. Um, but I was told that was normal and maybe it is, I honestly don't know, but the pain I was feeling during it was honestly unlike anything else. And I was really questioning if it was even worth it. Then six weeks after that, I had my third, same thing, it hurt, I had a bad reaction, but nothing, worse than what I thought. Um, and then my fourth came around, and after my third, I was a little bit unsure if I was, if it was even worth it. It was definitely working. Um, I would only have to shave like every other day instead of every day, which was a big change for me. Um, and even here, it really did seem to work. My hair was a lot thinner, and when it did grow, it was really no big deal. And you could definitely see a difference. Like, I would have like patches of hair on my leg instead of the entire leg being hairy, definitely working and I could tell and I was only three in. You usually need six to eight. I'd say I was halfway there after my third, which was great. I was honestly really happy about that because I was like, it's working, I'm so happy about it. And I should just keep going, obviously go to six or eight because I want this to work, you know? But it did hurt really bad. So I was like, 
whatever i'll just force myself to go to the fourth and just continue with it because it is obviously working and i don't want to stop it so i went to my fourth and it was in early july so you know i'm outside more now that it's summer i'm going to the beach I'm walking around getting sun on my legs because i was never told that you couldn't do that i was told you know like be careful in the sun you know wear sunscreen which i did so i thought it was fine because that's what i was told so i'd say i went to the beach about two weeks before my fourth appointment um so you know i go to my fourth hurts just as bad as normal um, but I did notice it was hurting a little bit more on my knees than anywhere else. I knew maybe something was wrong, but also I'm like, it hurts. I'm used to this, whatever. So I, I get in the car and, you know, obviously I'm having a bad reaction. I always do. My legs are super red, puffy, there's bumps all over, but I'm used to that. But on my knees, it was a little bit gray. I couldn't really tell what it was. Um, and I was really confused. And it was definitely stinging a lot more than usual and a lot longer. It'll usually sting really, really bad for the first like hour. And it was stinging for like three hours, um, which was definitely weird. And I noticed that a couple hours after I got home, the gray spots started turning into red. So I was like, something is definitely weird. And they were in circles, which is like the shape of like the laser when it hits you, it's like a circle, so. I guess that made sense then the next day was even worse they started turning purple and i was like okay there's something wrong so we sent pictures to the dermatologist and we we're like what is this because this never happened before this is my fourth session i didn't expect anything different than what i've been getting in the past so i was definitely alarmed pretty much the next morning so day number three we get a call and she sounds worried to say the least saying that, you know, it doesn't really happen, but it, for some reason it is for me and it's because of the sun, which didn't really make sense because I was never told don't go in the sun. I was just told to be careful, wear sunscreen and that's it. But anyway, she said it would take a while to go back to the way it was. And when I heard that, my life flashed before my eyes. I was like, I miss my old knees. What is happening? Um, and it just kept getting worse. That day when I when we got that call, I was really unwell. I was like, this is gonna be my life for the next however many months. She said it would take months. So I was like, I can't believe I'm gonna have purple knees for the whole summer and more. I had so many grad parties to go to that week and I was like, I don't even wanna go when I look like this um, because it looked like I had some type of disease. It just kept getting worse and worse and eventually it started peeling. About a week after my fourth appointment, we actually went into the dermatologist's office and met with the head doctor um, just for him to like take a look at it and be like, what did you do? Like not you, but what did your office do? He blamed it on the sun and I'm like, okay, sure. Maybe it is the sun's fault, but it's your fault for telling me that I couldn't go in the sun at all. I was not aware of that. My friend gets laser hair removal on her arms and she was told she can't go and get it done in between like May and October um, because it's super sensitive to the sun. I was not told that. That was not a rule at the place I went to. The dermatologist who actually did it on my legs was telling me to put makeup on it. Keep in mind, my skin was broken, it was open. You don't really wanna put makeup on that and possibly infect it. I don't really understand what she was saying there. Thank God I didn't end up putting anything on it, but she told me to. I'm happy I didn't listen, but like what? Pretty much in that appointment, I cried. I did, I cried because he was explaining how long it would take to go away and how there's really nothing I could do other than just wait. There's nothing I could do to speed up the process. I just have to let it happen. It was a lot of emotions all at once and I cried in front of the doctor. It was kind of awkward. Um, he like rubbed my shoulder. I was like, okay, I don't like this. They ended up refunding us for that appointment, but obviously that doesn't make it go away. It doesn't make my purple knees go away. But about a week after that appointment is when they really started to peel. Um, they took a few days to completely peel and now you, there's definitely circles on my legs to say the least. They're a little bit lighter than my actual skin color so I'm hoping that once you know it's winter and I'm pale it'll all look the same but dermatologist office has not checked in on us, has not given, given us a call to see if it's gotten better, if it's gotten worse. They have no clue um, how it actually is and I would you know appreciate if they cared but they don't seem to. So in their minds, I'm still walking around purple knees, which is not the case. 
there's definitely circles on there but it's not even close to the way it was and honestly it doesn't bother me i think anything is better than what i used to have so obviously it's annoying it should not have happened and i'm really upset about it but it's a lot better now, which is definitely what I appreciate. Safe to say I'm never getting laser hair removal again. It definitely did work. I was halfway done with the whole thing and it definitely worked. I can say that. I'm definitely never getting it again. I'm completely scarred from laser hair removal with the pain and the burns on my leg. I don't know if I would recommend it. I think the biggest thing about laser hair removal is definitely talk a lot to the dermatologist. Talk to them talk about sun and your skin and really be safe about it what happened to me was not my fault it was their fault so if you really are considering it and you still want it after this video make sure you're having a lot of communication what to do what not to do don't let what happened to me happen to you it was very avoidable it just sucks because i was really looking forward to getting it and having it work and it was all ruined. I'd say that one week where I wasn't sure if it was ever gonna go away was like literally one of the worst weeks ever. And I was really just like regretting everything. And I definitely still do regret it, but it's a lot better now. So I don't know. At least I didn't get those dots on my face. I actually don't know what I would have done because it, I got it on my face the same day I got it on my legs and nothing happened to my face, thank God. All right, that's it for the video. Hopefully I said everything answered any questions you might have had if you have any more questions let me know in the comments all right feel free to follow me on my social media instagram app music tiktok it's all down below i also made a tiktok on it and i will see you guys next week bye